Good day guys, my name is Lord Tomo. Welcome again to another Sonic the Hedgehog Time Collectible Review. As you know, I am Lord Tomo. We have the blue star here. Good old Sonic the Hedgehog. And I have a broken shirt, but who really cares? This actual item is a, a Sonic the Hedgehog watch by Innotape in an Innovative A Time. I always mumble that up for whatever reason. It's a nice little piece. Some of you may have seen it, some of you may not have seen it. So let's go more or less through the actual overall archetype of this actual design and briefly discuss the do's and don'ts of how good this item is which isn't necessarily what it is going to be discussed it's more or less going to be me talking about the watch itself which I think is pretty awesome straight out of the bat especially it's a nice little piece as a as I like to call it just as a, as a standalone piece as a, as a display piece for the better of the word so let's uh, briefly go through the packaging itself. Actually at the bottom there's actually nothing whatsoever, it's just got some little grooves which is more or less the actual, uh, I guess, casing of the inside of this actual watch itself. The actual little, I guess, casing is this little bit, really, that's that's all it is. Basically it's just a Sonic the Hedgehog on the actual other side, you just have the good old Sonic the Hedgehog running around, pretty retro, pretty old school in that sense. And this was, back in the day, a $3.76. A dollar, three dollars and seventy six. Sorry, three dollars and seventy six cents watch, which is quite ironic because I actually bought this for way too much. I think it's um almost a hundred percent increase. No, I'll probably say an eighty percent increase. Now, if you were to open this up, when I got this, they when I first got this, they put a little sticker tape just to kind of have this kind of a nippy. But if you were to actually physically open it up, you will have more or less description or little operations or instructions. Just basically tells you how to operate. This very very basic fo uh, phone. This very basic watch. So you can see the instructions there, which is pretty around. So this is a uh, definitely a nice little, I guess, throw in in terms of the actual packaging itself. Um, this is by far the actual design itself. It kind of has this very empery like a sort of display to it. It's kind of like this Sonic got to have been protected in this case of power, which is pretty thick plastic. I don't know why they did it. It's very, as you can tell by the price, it's a very cheap, uh, obviously, watch itself. But hey, you know, it's pretty rough. There have been other watches out there which do come in various different packaging, which some of them I've yet to review, which is the 20th anniversary pocket watches, which are awesome. I'll probably review that later down the track. But this is just your standard stock of the meal, sort of a basic watch for kids, of course. Quite simple, you just take off the extra lid, nothing too crazy in that regard, put it over and this is the actual design itself. Now straight out of the bat, what really sold me is this word Sonic the Hedgehog. Now it will be hard to see, but uh, you can tell that it's very plastic, luminative sort of glow to it, which is awesome. I don't know why it is. Purple has never been really Sonic's thing, but it's definitely there and it's definitely something that's pretty impressive. Now this is pretty much station and the idea is you basically just unhinge it from the very bottom and away it goes. So I'm just gonna slide this out if I can. Maybe I can't, who knows? Let's see if I can. You know what? I can't exactly do it. Well, that's weird. I'll do it eventually. I just can't be bothered to be honest. <laughs> so here's the actual side. It's just a Sonic the Hedgehog. It's very small, it's very cute. It's designed for kids, obviously, you know, look at this side and look at that. It's definitely not gonna fit around my risk because I'm a man. So that's the actual um, thing. It's predominantly blue, which is alright. It's got a little hoist, a typical standard, you know, watch sort of thing. And this is the actual on the side. It's absolutely nothing. On the outside, it's absolutely nothing. And at the very bottom, you just got like little rails of sorts, which I'm pretty sure I like speed rails. And this is the actual creme of the creme, the, 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 the big piece, the apple of the pie sort of thing. Just that picture of Sonic the Hedgehog when you stand pose, looking fat as ever. And if you look closely, the paint job is to be not adored. It's pretty shocking to be directly honest, but then again, you've only got it for like four bucks, so you wouldn't expect that much. However, that is not exactly how much I got this for. I'll get to the price very shortly, but that's how I got it Sonic. It's pretty weird looking, to say the least, but it's it's there, I suppose. Uh, the actual zone kind of looks like a combination of the warp zone and the, the loop as well. I, I don't know exactly what it is, but yeah, it's it's definitely there. Anyway, if you lift it up, you just have good old Sonic, just standard Sonic the Hedgehog there, and just two really buttons. So to have all these instructions for two little buttons, I am shocked. Now the batteries are dead, of course, so 
you know, don't expect this to work. But that's pretty much it for this actual watch. It's it's really nothing to extravagant in that department but it's definitely an awesome display space as if I would wear it if it was bigger and it could fit around my wrist no of course not don't know don't you don't know me I'd rather have a pocket watch than the actual this really interesting demented sort of it, okay this item is kind of demented in a nice way if that makes sense like it's it's not an awesome piece but it's a piece that's kind of like well with the package and it looks pretty awesome nonetheless now I initially got this okay you can definitely rewind this if you want to I got this for about a hundred bucks 107 bucks I think yeah I bought other stuff from the one seller but about 107 bucks expensive I know however I really wanted it the sad thing about this is for whatever reason I don't know if this is a new thing in the United States or maybe um, it was my seller's area I'm not entirely sure he did show me because I kind of was like what the shipping was like about 60 bucks now they have like this um, tax deduction I, I don't know what it is it's there on my PayPal it's there on the eBay it was quite clear so it's not like he was trying to dodge me or anything but it was like 60 70 bucks I'm like damn this whole thing is gonna cost me like about 160 bucks and it's like steep as hell but I, uh, I committed to the buy. I told him I said I was going to buy. He didn't want to buy it. He didn't want to ship it to Australia. When I told him I was interested, he did it anyway just for me. And I was like, you know, I'll be kind of an ass if I just basically said, well, well it's only 50 bucks shipping. You know what? No. So I wasn't going to be that sort of guy. I'm not definitely, you know, if I commit, I commit. hoo -yah. So yeah, that's the extra piece. <laughs> 160 bucks for this watch. <gasps> oh, God. Yeah. It's not my most shameful buy, to be honest. I've bought stuff where I was just like, why did I buy it for that much? This wasn't one of them. This is actually having a little soft spot for this. Really, look, I'm just probably going to throw this maybe 7.5 stars out of 10. Watches aren't exactly, you know, super rare, but they're not exactly common in the same regards, especially in, in the packaging and the packaging in its full entirety. So I'll probably throw an update. It's definitely a nice little piece. I've never seen it before. That's why I picked it up. That's why I wanted it, to be honest. So it's definitely just... So I have friends who just want to pick it up and just like, oh wow, this looks you know, interesting. So yeah, it's you know, it's a nice little piece. Now, where can you buy it? I got this off eBay. I don't see this being sold in retail stores at all. If at all, it would just be that little piece, the little watch itself, like the, the containers and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, it's definitely a nice little piece. It's, I don't know, t actually, how about you guys tell me what you th your thoughts about this because I have really no clue whatsoever what to think about this. There are better watches off Sonic. Uh, which is the pocket watch from Japan love those love 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 those this one's just like awesome it's a little piece from America I'm not too sure if this was released in Europe or United States it may be I'm not entirely sure it does have features I forgot to mention it has time and ca calendar whoa super quads accuracy no idea what that is one year limited warranty includes batteries which I did I wonder can I claim warranty still uh, this was released in a 90 and 95 Interesting eh? Maybe warranty won't last on this. You know, I probably should give them a call and say hey guys Just let you know I bought this just I put it on the packet nah. You know guys, let me know what your thoughts on this. I, I actually quite dig it to be directly honest I know this review is kind of media good best, but I mean it's definitely something nice little piece I it's it's a cute little piece. It's a little display piece. You know guys, let me know Thank you again for watching my reviews and you guys speed on and peace out.